So mm -hmm. I think Ron Nelson's book is a, is a very bold attempt at a tell it all. However, following the commentary that's coming out, it appears that it's not really a tell it all. It's a selective tell it all. There are questions about some of the narrations that have been made. Um, we're beginning to see a lot of pushback on social media, people disputing some of the things she's saying and people adding things to it. Well, that's to be expected saying. for a book um, like that. Yeah, but I, I still think, I still hold the view that certain things ought to remain private. No matter how, how blatant you want to be or how bold you want to be, certain things, that, that's why there's a word called privacy. Some have said that that element shows her lack of emotional intelligence. Do you agree? I'll leave the jury out on that. Before the headlines become some judge says Yvonne Nelson lacks emotional intelligence. And then that becomes a whole new social media thing. I, I, I would leave the jury out. I won't comment on that. Do you think she should have written this book? Absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not against... And, and I think people must write books. I, I'm, I'm working on something. People must write books to tell their stories. But you must, you must be... You must be I don't want to use the phrase emotional intelligence because you've used it. Um, but you must be able to measure what you put out and what you don't put out. I mean, imagine me putting out a book and, and chronicling all the times me and my wife have had a fight. Um, to what intent and purpose <clears throat> does that serve? Okay, and putting out the sordid <clears throat> details of fights or putting out sordid details from your private life that go a long way to hurt other people outside of you. You, you begin to question some of those things, you know. Um, but let me say hi to Tracy. I, I think she's Which, been a very, she's been a very Tracy big, success. yeah, she's been, I, I've seen her tweet and I think that I celebrate her as a woman. This is someone, she, she's worked in my constituency with her foundation. She came to work with my, with my office and did some distribution and, and my respect for her has gone very up. I mean, her, her commentary on this matter makes me understand why Saka stuck with her for all this while and Saka dear, and Saka dear is someone I've known for very many years. At the time I gave Saka dear a show, he was a backup artist. It was a backup artist to RTVs when I took him to Cape Coast in my, in my previous life as an event around what, around what time was this? It was 2010. 2010. Yeah, yeah that's the time. At around that, the same time. At that time, no, 2009, <clears throat> 2010. At that time, at that time, the main act was RTVs and the song was Ademado, Are They Go Crazy. That was, they were the big acts. So it was then Sarkodie, Eskilions, J-Soul, they were backup artists and all of that. But anyway. <laughs>